discuss how we're going to set up the dark, when you're in the dark room, setting that up for taking the film off the roll and then installing it on the canister. You simply want to make sure you have your reel with the tabs facing towards the wall, the flat side facing towards you, your canister where you can see it, scissors and can or can openers and scissors. It's really up to you. You're in the dark. You can't see anything anyways, but this is basically how I would set it up. Let's talk real quick about the film tank canister. This canister is what you're going to use to develop your film in. Uh, as you can see, it has a lid. It has a, a siphon that you can pour your liquids into, which still enables you to keep a light tight space for your film. You can take that off, just simply twist and turn, and inside you'll see your canisters, your film reels. You can take those out and you have two. Now depending on the size of film, you may only be able to get one in here. If you're using 120, you can only develop one, 120. 55, same. 35, you can develop both at the same time. You just simply take it apart, and there you go. Dark room, there's no light, absence of light. You have your roll of film in hand. You have your can opener. You're going to take the can opener and open from this end, which is the bottom, and this is the top, this spool right here. I have one for demonstration purposes, is the top part of the reel that holds the film inside the canister. So what you're going to want to do is firmly grasp your film roll with one hand, your can opener in the other. Take the rounded end, put it on top, make sure the, the tooth or the cleek connects with the bottom of the lip, you're going to firmly pull up. You're going to take it off. One, with that firmly off, you can push that reel out and there's your film. Next we're going to load the film onto the reel. The re this reel is what you're going to use to develop or process the film with. As you can see, there are two tabs on both sides of the reel. One side's flat and then it arrows out. And then there are two ball bearings. These, the purpose of these ball bearings is to catch the groove, these little notches in the film. Okay. To note, when you get ready and you're in the dark room because you can't see, it's best to orientate the reel with these two tabs, these arrows facing away from you towards the wall. So that way you can put the film in. And I'll demonstrate that here shortly. As you can see, your reel can come apart. This is so you can accommodate larger format film. So 120, 55, and 35 millimeter films with each notch. And there's corresponding notches on the adjacent side. Just simply put in one, and there you go. That's 120. And you go to the middle one, and there's 55, pull it back out, and there's your smallest one for a 35 millimeter. When you're in the dark room, after you've removed the film from the canister, you want to cut this tab off right here. Now this is going to be difficult because you're, it's total darkness, so you have to have a good feel for the film. What I normally do is I put this in towards my hand so I can feel it. And I'll move my fingers up ever so slightly. Take my scissors, and I'll just cut the top part off. Once you have that part off, you can proceed to load the film into the canister. Now this is easier than it looks. Most people get frustrated because they can't find it, mainly because they have it orientated the wrong way. If you have proper orientation, this goes relatively simple. With one hand, you Hold the left side or the right side, depending on your, your preference, and you just slide the film in. With the other hand, you may have to feed it. See, the film wants to just run free on you. It's okay to let it drop just a little, but don't let it hit the floor or anything as, as it can scratch and thus damage the film. But you do want to hold it if you can. If not, let it dangle, it's alright, and then rotate the opposite side, firmly holding one side, rotating the other. And what this does, 
as it feeds the film into the canister. As you can see, it goes all the way around. And it'll continue to follow in a circular motion until it's all the way through. When you get down to the end, you're going to have a little tab where the, the film is attached to the bottom reel. Take your scissors and just cut that end off and then finish moving it into the canister. Once you're done with that and you see that no film is hanging out, you simply drop it into your film tank, put that on, put your funnel on. Turn, twist, make sure it locks in place if you have the kind that locks in place. And then put your lid on and you're done. The next step is to take it and pour your chemicals in it and process your film.